go to the TED-Ed site at ed.ted.com, register and log in. To start making your lesson, click on Create a Lesson. Enter a search term to find the video to use for your lesson. Browse through your search results and select the video you want to use for your lesson by clicking on it. Once you've selected the correct video, click on Launch Lesson Editor. Here you can decide whether your lesson is listed, that means that other people can find the lesson and use it, or whether it's unlisted, which will make it private. If the lesson is listed, you can also decide whether other people can use and customise your lesson. There are five different levels of task you can use with your video lesson. The first is watch, then think, dig deeper, discuss and finally. You can click on exclude if you don't want to use any of these levels. The only one that you must use is the watch level. This is where you give students their initial tasks to do while they watch the video. Once you've typed in your initial task, you click on the next level. You can click on the think level and here you can add two different types of questions, either multiple choice or open answer questions. You can have up to 15 different questions at this level. To create a multiple choice question, click on multiple choice, write in your question, then click on next. Now add your answers. One of the answers must be correct. You click the next to the correct answer. Now click on next again and you can preview your question. If everything's okay with the question, click on save. Now you can add another question by clicking on create your own question. To create an open answer question, you click on open answer and then type in your question. Once you've added the question, click on save and then click on create your own question again. When you create a question, you can add a time reference. Students will be able to use the time reference as a hint. They'll be able to click on it and it will take them to the part of the video that the question refers to. You can re also reorder questions by clicking on sort and then dragging the questions into a different order. Then click on save. The next level is Dig Deeper. Here you can provide information that includes links, which encourages your students to find more information about the background to the video. This could be links to websites, Wikipedia, or any other kind of online media, or it could be based around images that you can upload from your hard drive. The next level of the activity is Discuss. Click on Discuss. When you add discussion topics, you have to give your discussion a title. An explanation is optional. Once you've added the title and explanation, click on Add this discussion. You can also preview and save. You can add more than one discussion topic just by clicking on the button to add another discussion. The final level is and finally. Here you can leave your students with some final things to think about, get them to do some final research, or just set a homework topic or something to think about before they come to class. Now you can click preview to see your lesson.
When your students get to the discussion stage, they can also start discussions themselves. If you want to keep editing your lesson and do more to it, you can click on Edit. But if you think it's ready, you can click on Publish. Now you have a number of ways to share your lesson. You can share it through social media, or you can grab a link, or you can send it via email. Just put in the email address and then click on Send. You can always go back and re-edit your lesson later or share it by clicking on the small cog and then either clicking on Edit or Send. You can also change the accessibility so you can make the lesson unlisted.